This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hi, good morning. So nice to have you in my house. Now, please come closer. It has indeed been 17 months since this apartment was purchased and it is complete, finally. And frankly, I will say from the get-go that I think this is the most beautiful apartment in the whole wide world. <laughs> It's okay if it's not your taste. <laughs> I just love it here so much. It is my little sanctuary. Most of the pieces that I've purchased in this house are actually secondhand. I've curated it to be the things that I just, that spark so much joy in me. Without further ado, let me show you around my Reykjavik Iceland apartment. P.S. I am an Australian that has lived in Iceland for seven years. Uh, yeah, one of those weirdos. There's only 44 of us in Iceland, so... <laughs> I am a foreigner in this country that has made my little nest in this corner of the world. Makes sense to start the tour in my office. So it is a tiny space that used to be used as coat hanger space um, for jackets. And I thought, what a waste of a room. It's only two meters by two meters, so it's small, but it is, <laughs> I just, <laughs> I can't believe how perfect it is. And the most amazing thing is how fast, once the place was painted and the construction part of the house was done, how fast everything came into place. This is like the awards table, I would say. Um, my gold, gold plaques and my book that I actually never made a video about. I was so in such a weird space. It took two years to write this book um, from the conception to it being released and I really didn't feel like I was a selfie queen at the stage when it came out, so I never made a video about it. But it's a really great book. It's got some amazing pieces of information in there about how to take the most amazing self-portrait, which I still love self-portrait photography so much. Burning Man, one of the best things I've ever done in my whole life. Here we have my tiny little investing collection. Silver coins are only worth about maybe 20 to $30 Australian each. And then this little silver bar, it's worth at the moment, this is the current value. I was so proud of this though, because this is the first ever investment, physical asset investment that I purchased. Paper money from my travel days as well. It's not worth that much, but it just reminds me of where I've been. And I don't think we're gonna have paper money that much longer in our lifetime. So it's really nice to have this for preservation of history. But these are my prized possessions. My brother had them on a farm and their old military storage container. And I just love them, love anything too. That's pretty rustic. So I was like, yes, please. Mirror, second hand. Lamp, probably saw it from the other house, also second hand. This lamp, it was a storage container for a candle actually. My friend cut it and installed it into the ceiling and at nighttime it makes the most beautiful patterns on the roof. I love light and shadows and that's why I think this curtain here as well, which is just, I think potato sack material, I love it. <laughs> Wanted to make curtains, but instead I just draped it over like that. Like the way that the light comes in and forms in incredible shadows, I just love it so much. I think all of us want to know about this desk. Not second hand, this was expensive. It is such a beautiful piece of timber. I just put some legs on it and now we have a crazy sexy desk here. I could just look at this office all day. <laughs> This is the entrance to the house and so I put the coat racks out here and you can go into the office which is so nice because it separates living from work and I just think it's amazing. And then we move into the walkthrough area. This room itself is just an odd room and I don't really know what to do with it. Whenever my interests become very clear as to what I want to do next, I think this room will become that space. I got Frank here. <laughs> I got my this painting, this photography from Benjamin Hardman, which I love. And together with a friend, we made the frame because I don't really like my photography or any art in glass. I just think it looks a little bit tacky. And this is the balcony and it is cold. The sun doesn't hit the area, so unfortunately it's not very used. And 50% of it is owned by my neighbor and they don't have access, they only have a window. <laughs> But I am thinking of maybe eventually turning this into a, like an outdoor greenhouse. I suspect not everybody has a spiral staircase, so I'm just going to take you for a drive up the stairs <laughs> so you can experience how amazing it is for yourselves because it is genuinely my favorite part of the house. I love it so much and welcome. 
to the upstairs area. Welcome to the lounge room. And I love how small these couches are, which are from Ikea, by the way. You can still stretch out and it's a full size. So technically I could have two extra people sleeping here if, they, if I needed to. I think one of my favorite parts about this area is sitting here during the day when the sun is hitting. The sun in Iceland is so precious. And sometimes I honestly just get naked. I open the windows and just get my vitamin D. Also, every single person has a naked neighbor. And if they don't, it's because you're the naked neighbor. <laughs> but I'm also lucky. The view from up here is amazing. There's actually no neighbors. I'm the tallest of all the houses in the surrounding area. So I get to look on top of all the rooftops in this area. I can see all the most amazing details of Reykjavik. The way that the light navigates in this space as well is freaking amazing. In the mornings the light comes into the kitchen and in the afternoon it comes in through here. Then it like most of the day it sits in my bedroom and it's so warm in there. The apartment is like perfect for me. I am so cold so I need warmth and this apartment is so hot. <laughs> it's so great. I spend a lot of my mornings here journaling as well as meditating in front of the violet at nighttime and in the morning and also my housemate plays guitar often because he loves music so much so I get my own personal concerts quite often which is mesmerizing. Yeah. And that's his room in there and that's my bedroom just there. I will not be showing the bedrooms because I figured that actually that is the most personal part of my life and I wasn't even sure if I wanted to do an apartment tour because it felt a little bit like an invasion of privacy weirdly uh, like I really changed over the last few years. When I think about it I really want to show off my house because I think it's just so beautiful for me. And I have this coffee table just in front of me which is a slab of wood and underneath yet again we have the military style containers and the rug I had it from my other house. It fits so perfectly. I am amazed the transference of possessions I had from the old house into this one. But I really didn't have to buy hardly anything. These plants, by the way, um, yeah, a lot of them are dying because I just brought them from the summer house. No one's there really anymore. So I just brought them back and I'm just trying to revive them. Potentially my favorite part of the house is this butterfly right here. It was gifted to me by my friend Sara who helped me buy my first ever house actually in Iceland in January 2020. It was like the very, very final touch that I put into the house as a decoration and it sealed the deal of this being the transformational house. We have the bathroom. This was actually a very, very dark bathroom. And so it was transformed into really light and bright with this incredible shower that's dark green. In the future, I'd put a bath in here. That would be the only thing. But in the meanwhile, it is Perfect. And so here is the kitchen that everybody loses their mind over every single time I post it on my stories. It's a black kitchen, but it's not really black. It's actually really, really dark blue, but it looks like a black kitchen and it is so spectacular. We've got the open shelving, which houses the military ammunition containers that I've turned into food storage. And I get to carry the theme of military throughout the house, which is really fun. Just a subtle little hint of it. this table oh my gosh can we talk about a work of art it is my dream table it was a table that i saw in a shop and i was obsessed with it hemili ahungmindir is the shop was also secondhand. It was cheap as chip. They were all there within two days. I went into the store, found them. I went in again, found it. I think God was on my side during this period of transformation. There's nothing I would change now, nothing. And now I'm also learning to figure out where the lighting is best for the plants. <laughs> I'm kind of arranging the house for plants because I am a very serious plant mama, actually. Hello, my name is Sir Lamour. I do absolutely nothing but recline and relax at all times. With the spirit, I'm going to do my job <laughs> and tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace from the comfort of my own home. I actually can't eat this grape because my face is stuck. <laughs> Squarespace is a magnificent tool for business owners and artists like myself to build a beautiful online presence that actually gets the results. Let me tell you about some of the incredible features of Squarespace, such as the new editing interface. This is a game changer, it makes your site so customizable, therefore it can suit your needs completely. 
With Fluid Engine's flexible grid, place blocks anywhere, even overlapping other blocks, and resize them directly on the page. Of course, there's the Unreal 24-7 customer service that comes with Squarespace, as well as the award-winning designer templates that make you look professional even if you do not have an eye for design. Plebs! <laughs> <laughs> you do also have the complete marketing tools, including email management, top analytic tools to track the performance of your web page to continue refining and improving the results of your business in real time. Squarespace hosts your content seamlessly, text, videos, and photos, of course, but also audio blocks can be inserted in case you're a podcaster, for example. Excuse me, plane, do you not see that I'm making an ad? Shh. And this is just a few of the amazing features of Squarespace. So therefore, head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Sorel, that's my name. <laughs> to get 10% off your first website or domain. Obnoxious Sorel is out. Ah, oh, never mind. Here is just some random clips of me from nighttime enjoying so much the house. <laughs> Wait, let me do that again. Hello, housemate. You're home? Oh, <laughs> you're not because you're always working. Into the dungeon we go. I kind of mean it though when I say dungeon because... <laughs> Hi Frank! Just a non Ikea mirror and then we just put wood around it. Beautiful! I was maybe thinking of making it into a full music room or maybe a dress up fashion room. Ooh! I did envision my office having a sewing machine. Maybe I'll just finally suck it up and like do that because I have visions for clothing. Interior designer, fashionista, what else? <laughs> Fun. I mean, look at this. I freaking love my life. I think my housemate is coming home. Housemate's home! Hey! Bono's home. <laughs> what did you say that you're living me, with me, why? I live with you. <laughs> I can be famous because I'm, I can't say the last thing. Why? I'm a fame slut. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my songs. <laughs> you can find it on Spotify. <laughs> it and i hope you have the most amazing day here's my instagram and twitter if you'd like to see more and until next time ladies gents boys and girls and everybody in between peace i have the coolest house <laughs> bro it's so cool my house is so good it's like an artist's space that's just oh